Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Time Spinner. Uh, you may notice that we are not in the lab at all, but in fact uh, we're over here in the wilderness area, where the game first really started. And uh, I just I was just curious to see if uh, my theory was correct about the toxic atmosphere, and yes it is, actually. Um, you can see a slight haze in the air, and as soon as you take off the oxygen mask, which you have no reason to ever do, really, um, yeah, you start suffocating, so probably you shouldn't do that. Interesting, though. I mean, also interesting that I really had no reason... I guess I maybe technically I could have tried looking around here first uh, to see for to look for any changes, but it made much more sense to me to look in the library, and that's where we ended up finding that mask, right? Or I guess we did find it. Excuse me. I guess we did find it uh, as soon as we moved further along this way. But yeah, there is no toxic atmosphere over this way at all. So um, yeah, you really never have to deal with it. I'm, I'm guessing that, well, obviously we are eventually going to go down uh, this path here and this whole area is going to be toxic so we needed it eventually but it's just that you know by the time we we needed to go here we were pretty much guaranteed to have come across the mask anyway um yeah as i was just heading over here for no particular reason i found that uh the place that used to have the shattered orb uh, now has a crashed spaceship i'm guessing not sure if it's a valetian ship or one of Lashimi's own ships but uh, we also have these two chests here. Captain's cap. Uh, golden crested cap worn by a Valetian star captain. Okay, indicating or implying that maybe this is in fact a Valetian uh, ship. Uh, this increases defense and willpower quite nicely. Wow. Um, over the advisor hat. So yes, obviously. I'm guessing this is the Valetian, uh, the, the captain's uniform then. Yep. Uh, this one does increase luck by five points. Are you crazy? Wow. Three points of defense. Uh, Will goes down by two points, but honestly, who cares? Five points of luck? This is insane. The military uniform of a highly decorated Valetian star, star captain. You know, I mean, not sure if it's a good idea to be wearing Valetian uh, military <laughs> gear, military, uh, you know, clothes on Lachim. But, I mean, they're already hostile to me, so I guess it doesn't really make a practical difference. And obviously I would still be choosing to use that stuff. That's just way too good to not use. Hmm, I mean, that was different, obviously. So, who knows what else there might be. Not really sure I want to re-explore literally every single map. Every single screen. Because that's just... Yeah, I mean, also... It's not the easiest thing to keep track of, with no indication of where I have been in this change timeline. I was thinking maybe something, some little event would pop up, maybe a surprise boss fight or something. Well, and this looks very much the same. Yeah, I don't know, maybe maybe by the time I, uh, I'm ready to uh, open this level A security door down here, I'll take some time to look around these lower caves a bit more, but I don't know, I'm not really expecting much change there. Huh, it would be fun if, for some reason, this were not collapsed in this timeline. I'm not sure if the map could possibly reflect that kind of change. Well, I don't know. I think for the time being I'm just gonna keep moving forward and, you know, seeing what we find over this way. Um. Okay, Amadeus' laboratory. I guess I only need to grab one more screen to know that officially. Um, of course, there is one only a single room. Oh, oh, I can't go up this way, huh? That's fine. Oh, wait, is it though? Yes, because the game is pretty generous with... Oh, God. Um, allowing me to grab thing or grab objects in general. I there's the orb. Because of course. And the standard hand gun. So another ratchet back then. Hmm, interesting. Huh. I mean convenient to have and I really love this one. But I also like I also like my shattered orb. I guess I'm using that one the least recently, so I'm gonna replace that for now. Of course, maybe the gun orb isn't good. I mean, the damage is amazing. Hmm. Which seems to indicate that it's probably somehow limited. 
Oh, wait. Is that li unlimited range, though? It's pretty slow. I guess it has to be with the damage it has. Yep, it seems to be unlimited range. Seems pretty powerful, honestly. You know, unlimited range attack for very high damage. That does not consume my... My, uh... Mana with every single shot. Hmm, is this... Well, I guess it, it does not target enemies uh, above and below me. So that's obviously a quite a disadvantage compared to uh, to the plasma. Well, I mean, uh, while I'm here and can't convenient to do this, I might as well power up this new this new tool, this new weapon, as much as possible, or you know, at the very least, see what uh, what its associated magic is going to be. I mean. Is it even gonna be magic, or is it... Hmm. More changes. More changes. Was that lion statue always there? Uh, which one? You mean in the background here? The the lion relief, or... I don't know. What have you... I, I, he won't be happy with all this. He? Sure he will. He grows more powerful. Uh, fine. Then I won't be happy about all this. I like this world. Too bad. It has to change. If you say so. Just take my money. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I kind of joked about it at some point, I think in a comment perhaps, <laughs> about the Crow Merchant being the real final boss. Um, we'll see <laughs> if, we, if we end up actually fighting him at some point. I, I don't really think so, but, I mean, then again, he has been voicing some concern about my methods. So, we'll see. Um, so we'll buy two of these, which we still don't have any. We're probably going to find more, but, you know, whatever. There we... Oh, actually, I have plenty of equipment to sell, huh? Pendulum... That's just... Worse? Advisor hat, also worse. Leather jerkins, get out of here. I mean, this is more damage, but... I mean, the five points of luck, that's just insane. And it sells for a good amount, so... Bye-bye, Mother Pearl. Traveler's cloaks, those are bad-ish. Again, they increase luck, but... I will, but just a little bit. I apparently found three of those. Uh, Nymph hairband is and more willpower, but only one point. So what's the point? Bird statue is just bad. Oh, prevents chaos. No, prevents chaos. Never mind. Uh, military armor. Yes, that's more protective. Get out of here. Chaos horn. Um, more fortitude. Quite a bit more, actually. Hmm. So, four points of fortitude, but only two points of defense increase. Hmm. But again, no luck, and... I don't know, maybe at some point I want to, I'll want to max out my defense? Nah, I don't think so. Captain's cap is what I'm using, and uniform, of course. Okay, so we're actually back up to 8,000 gold, which is... Definitely feels a lot better. Um, in fact, if I hadn't bought the stuff I did buy just now, I would be at 10k to buy that rock, but whatever. Warp shards, I have used a bunch of these. Let's just buy a few more. Okay, cool. Now then, let's, uh, I mean, hopefully we, we can even craft something for these gun orbs. I mean, they seem more like a... more like a piece of engineering than, than magic, so maybe that'll even work the way... the same way as the others. But probably though, yep. Uh, oh, wait, what? Or an, oh, yes. I, wait, I don't know why I keep thinking that I need to scroll down for rings and necklaces. When it starts at necklaces. Arm cannon, okay. Uh, blast foes with uh, heat seeking missiles and a powerful beam. Nice. That sounds really good. Um, economizer reduces the aura cost of spells. Wow, okay. Uh, and I'm obviously gonna reinforce this one. Sure. Damage goes up by two for the first five levels. Again, I mean, the first few levels should come pretty quickly. But I might as well give it a head start, you know. All right. Um, that sounds... Stuff sounds really promising. Uh, let's see here. Arm cannon. And... Well, I, I guess... The silence does what? Oh, that's the, the shield. Yeah, I mean... Gonna have to try the new one. Yeah, reduce damage taken. Yeah. 
Whoa. Okay, that takes a while to, to power up. You do get those seeking things right away, but the, the actual the main beam takes a moment to fire off. Implying that it's hopefully really powerful. Well, obviously we're going to use this new one for the time being. Go to the right timeline as well. So, let's see here. Amadeus's lab. Oh, eerily quiet and empty so far. Oh. Oh, we're hiding in the shadows. You think it will work? We're talking about time travel here. Of course it won't work. Genza seems so sure. Oh, so sure he sent one of his volunteers through and did we ever hear from them again? Hmm. Well, he thinks he's almost done now. Let's just hope we're not the next volunteers. Similar situation to before. Uh, so do they have a time spinner in here? Like, it, maybe, did they construct their own version or something? Or is that what this Amadeus person is trying to do? Huh. Where do I want to go? Hmm. Wait, also, wasn't there something down here? Oh, no, it looked like there might be something to drop through. Also, what the heck? Why are they trying to create weird alien abominations in glass jars? Okay, good thing <laughs> those are handholds. Um, oh yeah, I was thinking that, that was going to happen. Okay. Hmm. Max Aura, always good. Oh. Well, maybe this is the uh, historical record I was looking for? Biotechnology, never mind. The new line of biotechnology war machines is providing to be quite effective. Pro providing? Proving to be quite effective. I would have never imagined juxtaposing simple metallic automata with literal biological organs. So they're really just doing the same thing that the old Lashim was doing, maybe in a more sophisticated way though? So maybe by cutting them off from the lead and not destroying the lead, we somehow gave them a push and made them even more technologically advanced in our age somehow? Not really sure why that was the case. Maybe, maybe they had... Maybe with the let in the sky and the knowledge that their old rival was still around, they they were driven to to advance their technology even more, like a you know an arms race situation where um, overall technology levels were driven by the military by, by the desire to be military powerful and to develop spacecraft space flight as fast as possible. I wonder if that's actually going to be. If there's actually going to be an explanation to that end, that would be pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's terrible, but, uh, you know, um, it would make sense, at least. Anyway, um, biological organs, right. Uh, I'm surprised by the practicality, practicality of using enormous uh, organic eyes as an ocular source for robots, enhanced as they are. Of course, an intentional side effect of the design is that they are so unsettling. Intentional, huh? The individual who spearheaded this new technology, Amadeus, is somewhat of an enigma to me. He claims to be from Surf Surfland, Surfland, uh, but I find that claim preposterous, considering the primitive level of scientific advancement of that planet. Oh, okay, right. They also do have. Uh, they have visited other planets in the meantime, as they d as they had in my own my original time. Oh my God, so things are getting getting a bit complicated now with not only multiple timelines but also multiple alternate timelines. Uh, anyway, um, my skepticism is not shared with the new Emperor, however. At least, he doesn't seem to care. Perhaps I will attempt to reverse engineer Amadeus's biotech creations. It may be that I will find my answers there. And who are you? By the infamous scientist Genza. Oh, Genza. Oh, Gen right. Genza is the one... I guess Amadeus is a scientist of the past who spearheaded this whole stuff. And Genza is uh, currently working on time travel. And apparently also... Uh, biological creations. Okay, so this is a barrier that we'll have to somehow power down before we can advance. Good to know. All oh, right, this is going to be a little bit awkward. Okay, I mean, these seeking these lasers are okay. Ouch. Also, I could probably just yeah <laughs> do that much much more easily. Okay, we got a bunch of these barriers. I guess I don't really need to rub my face into them. 
to confirm that they are, in fact, blocking my progress. Oh. I guess my little dragon friend did kill the other one there. Oh, oops, don't fall. Not the worst thing in the world, but still, probably don't want to. Um, yeah. So it's not good. Okay, there are two barriers here, and there is something? Oh, what does that remind me of? Does that look like something I should recognize? Huh. It seems to have maybe an orb on it? Is that a lock of hair or something? I don't know, weird. Um. Yeah, obviously, uh, whatever is in that tank couldn't possibly be good for me or anyone. Uh, w, Rec, farewell. WREC, farewell. The WREC program, War Robots of Extinct Creatures, short Rec, I guess, is finally being phased out. After its successful run over three decades, including one transplanetary war, we have decided to discard all unused units. A part of me will miss Rec as its usage of long-since-dead animals as inspiration for each new model was always quite endearing to me. It was as if the designers were uttering a quiet apology for eradicating that animal's entire species, whether that extinction was intentional or not. Nevertheless, the new technology that we are receiving from our mysterious ally is undoubtedly, undoubtedly far superior to any unit from the REC program, be it in speed or cost to simple lethality. Despite these new and exciting advances in science, a part of me will always miss the quaint little creatures from the wreck line. I guess those, the last remnants of those are the things we're, we've been killing in the uh, in the badlands outside the city. Huh. Now there's the place below. I, now obviously, I really don't know which one is going to be forward, but we'll have to return anyway after we find a way to disable the. Um, Oh god. To disable the... The barriers. I wanna try and stop one... Oh! Okay. Interesting. So you can do that. I can also... Well, I guess... These are not particularly dangerous, these stompers. There's plenty of time to deal with them. Oh god! Um, thankfully that's not instant kill. Instant death. You know what? Maybe it is a good idea to... Stop these ones. I wonder if I stop one right here. Oh, wait. The the one on the left side of the room was the 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 ledge above was lower, right? Couldn't I have grabbed that one if I had managed to freeze a piece of debris here, a piece of creature closer to the top? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that, that's also completely unnecessary because we're just gonna. Uh, climb up like this and reach that room like normal people would. Alright. No reason to try and be tricky here. Oh, okay, we've got more debris raining down. But not a whole lot, though. Hmm. And again, seems like we'll just, yeah, be able to do this. Is that a thing to destroy? Yes, it's just being awkward again. I guess there is that little spark that appears, or I guess little particles, whenever something's about to fall. Oh, hold on. Can I, oh, I can destroy these? I can. For sand, I guess? Because I kind of need more sand. Hmm. It's not, not the most convenient thing. You know what? I do have items to, that restore sand. Also, why did this... Return? Did I change screens somehow? Um, not sure. Anyway, uh, use items. Sand file. Oh, we only have three of them. Huh, can we buy them? I'm gonna use one though. Okay. I guess I'll make it across like so. Yikes. Okay. Give me some sand bag. Mind refresh. That's nice, I guess. Oh, wow. Uh, that should work nicely. Oh, no. <gasps> Just barely made it. Yikes. Uh-oh. Give me that. Eye orb. Uh, a fleshy oculus that slices through unwitting foes. What have I done? Uh-oh. Also, what have I done? Sealed the door behind me. 
That's why. Maybe I shouldn't have done this? Hmm. I mean, I don't see how just taking... Oh, was it powering everything? Are the barriers now gone? Seems that, like that might be the case. Not sure how the I how this fleshy thing powered anything, but... Hmm. Anyway. Plasma Orb, Gun Orb. Uh, which one am I, am I going to replace, though? I guess I have not been using... Once again, I've stopped using the Wind Orb now that I have all these ranged options. But, of course, I also don't really need two ranged options at the same time. I mean, the Plasma Orb is super convenient. Oh, it's so convenient, though. Just... Eye Orb. Fleshy Oculus. Uh, or level 1, damage 14. Obviously, I just... Want to try it. Oh. Interesting. That looks really cool. Unsettling, yes. But very cool. I can see that being really good, actually. Okay. I'm drop way down. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Still don't, don't have the level A key card, but I got a feeling like we're going to be finding one pretty soon. Did this literally just chatter and whatever was inside break out? So I certainly heard something. Exper experiment number 11. The subject exhibited an advanced growth rate, as well as the addition of new psychic abilities, despite the subject's parents being completely void of any talent. Although my colleagues consider this, ex this experiment to be a failure, as we've yet to achieve our true goal, I believe it at least um, I believe it at least a step in the right direction. This will serve as a springboard for my next experiment. As a side note, some of my colleagues appear to be squeamish about the lengths we are going for uh, we are going for this research. I do not blame them. The process of splicing unknown organic material into the embryo of a Windarian commoner is quite a leap from most modern scientific techniques. Windarian, huh? Nice. I know I do evil, but I post that reaching further, faster. Uh, but I posit that reaching further, faster, is ultimately our ethical imperative. Even if you if you admit that you are that you do evil, that's uh, not something most people do. Scientific advancement beyond Amadeus's designs will allow us to move beyond dependency on the demons. Wait, you're still using demons? I might have to return and to, to have a little talk with Elana. We will bring order to the Empire. Is that not the true Lashimi way? Maybe that's maybe I should have done that as soon as I learned about this um, the Great Mother worship cult. Because uh, you know it seems likely that they're actually referring to Elana. And she did not, in fact, give up on the demons so easily. Hmm. Well, as soon as I get a chance, I will try returning. Hmm. Boss fight. That looks good. Oh, oh, chaos. Well, that's fine, I guess. Oh, and you're weak to eye attacks, apparently. Experiment number... Oh, these are all experiment 11. I guess you had multiple specimens. How oh, nice. Map data. Uh, okay. <laughs> these have been so... So useless, honestly. Also, this room is marked with a... Uh... Is it? Wait, it is this room? No, it's not. Oh, never mind. That was just my own pointer. Never mind. That just happened to point here. I'm down here. Okay. Momentary confusion, no big deal. Um, okay, so I missed this. I, I skipped over exploring this big room. Even though I did have a chance, right? Or was that blocked off? No, I think that wasn't blocked off. I just decided not to go there first and ended up taking this loop up here, but in the process disabling the machine and also picking up the eye orb. Okay. Um, I was gonna take a look at uh, enemies. See if we missed any security turret. Ah, right. These things don't drop anything as expected. These also drop. Uh, don't drop anything. The result of a clearly unethical procedure. So these are supposed to be Wendarian uh, genes spliced with something else. Hmm. Motion activated security camera that doubles as a turret. Oh, right. Okay. Interestingly, there is a bit of a gap here. I guess these might be the enemies in the in the cave section that we have yet to explore. No. Oh, yep, right. And this is exactly where the uh, the barrier used to be. Also, with the barriers gone and all the things having broken out of their containment cells, 
Um, they're going to be all over the place now. Had I taken a look into this room? Or was this also blocked off? Hmm. Actually, now I'm no longer sure. Also, all these conveyors are now powered off, and I might not be able to get there. Well, I should be able to fall from above, judging by the map. Food synthesizer. Is that something I was looking for? A portable machine that creates food from raw materials. Oh, okay. I mean, that's clearly something for Seikis. Although, I guess it would mean that he no longer has to cook. Not sure if that's really something he wants, but who else would this be for, right? <clears throat> anyway. Oh, you know what? You know what? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, you things are still around, of course. You don't die quite as easily to my new power. All right, this was blocked off before. Um, I kind of want to check that weird object above, behind the double barrier. Seems like something I should be interested in getting. Oh, 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 boss fight. You know what? Sure, I don't even feel we need to save before... Uh, b because I'm gonna be completely safe. Level up, that thing is dead. Whatever that was, it died so easily. Wasn't this... isn't this where... I saw that item? Floating around? Um... Wait, it couldn't have been. Oh, it was on the other side of it. Oh, this was the container that... the, the canister that was already full of fleshy... stuff. So, yeah, okay. Fair enough. What the heck did I just kill? Also, that was way too... that died way too easily to be an actual boss enemy. No, it's, it's not the maw. Oh, that was number 13. If you listen carefully, you can hear it softly moaning in agony. Yikes. Okay. No drops from this guy. I wonder if we're gonna encounter more of them. Okay, what is this? Triple jump. Harness telekinetic telekinesis to glide across the ground. Hold R1 to dash. Hold R1 to dash. Wow, a dash move this late into the game? That's unusual and unexpected. Talaria attachment. Uh, hold R1. Okay. But it's only on the ground, though. How does this help, particularly? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it, it only does anything on the ground. Pressing R1 in the air does nothing. Weird. I guess... Okay, what it does allow me is to jump further? Yeah, quite a bit further, actually. Yep. So this is about as far as I can make it with a normal double jump. And this is, yeah, I can easily jump twice as far. So that's definitely going to allow me to cross this chasm all the way down here. Well, down here. It's not going to help. Well, I don't know. Maybe it helps me to jump a little bit higher as well? I guess I'll, I'll see if I can... Hmm. Well, I mean, it's hard to say in a room that has a ceiling that's too low for me to... Um, you know, low enough for me to bump my head into. Huh, weird. Weird stuff. Not what I expected at all. I mean, does it help? Also, I guess I can... Hmm, yeah, well, I don't need to jump up there. But I can fall down to this room. I could have done that before, I guess. Very pick-me-up. Oh, well. I, guess, I mean, if nothing else, it allows me to... Oh around a bit faster. What the heck? There's no possible way for me to go up here. Unless there, I mean, there was and I, and I missed the opportunity? No way. I refuse to believe that I would be permanently um, prevented from going ever, from ever going up there because I switched off the, uh, the power. Oh no. I mean, I, I guess I'm still kind of expecting some sort of... some sort of uh, triple jump or something. Because, you know, because of the, the towers. And that would obviously allow me to go up here. Or, you know, either triple jump or wall climb. Huh. Weird. Do I want to... Actually... Since 
these eye things are a melee type of attack, and it, I really kind of like it for how, you know, despite how disgusting it is. I guess I'm going to take a look at its associated magic and before I decide whether I want to exchange these for now. I also really have not been using the uh, the guns a lot. Hmm. So many new things that I need to figure out what to do with. I guess these, uh, these turrets aren't really weak to any of my to any of my magics, any of my orbs that I have, have equipped right now. Um, we can obviously continue this way. That's the the path forward. But I think I'm gonna. I suppose that what I what I could do is pause here uh, and at least uh, craft the uh, the next set of jewelry to check out what the what these eye orbs have for magic. Probably something grows. Um, and then, then I'm gonna sort out my... My orb situation, my orb loadout. I'm probably gonna... Re yeah, I'm definitely gonna be replacing the wind attack with this for now. Unless the magic is really bad. And uh, have plasma and guns equipped. Just because, you know, ranged attacks are useful. And powerful, as it turns out. Okay, um... Well... I, yeah, I don't see... Well, okay, no, that's that's not true. I see exactly one spot where this new dash move is actually going to allow me to progress. Everywhere else, it's just going to be convenient to move faster, I suppose. Uh, yeah, again, not what I expected at all. Also, there's absolutely no convenient way to quickly travel back here. So that's a, that's a bit of a bummer. I suppose what I could do is... Yeah, you know what? Um, I, I know, I'm, I'm sitting here rambling for, for minutes on end. I'm just going to pause, do all the things that I just mentioned, and I'm going to make my way back to that chasm in the past and see uh, what's past that. And that's going to be it for this episode. All right, here we are. Um, wait, I mean, that didn't take particularly long to uh, to reach. And, of course, I did go ahead and craft more stuff. So Chaos Blades is the magic. Um... Mow down your foes with a flurry of bone blades, and the Oculus is an interesting one. It reveals hidden passageways. I mean, I I don't really know that I need that very, you know, I absolutely need that one. And I would like something, I would probably refer, uh, prefer something like maybe, um, I mean, the Tailwind Ring in, con in, in uh, conjunction with these eye orbs would be really powerful, I feel. Obviously, burning through my mana is a lot as well. Uh, Royal Ring... Recovery rate wasn't there. Um, boost my damage. Economizer. Reduce aura cost of spells. Yeah, that's the one. Um, that seems useful in general. Um, but for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna at least uh, keep these you know, this this eye orb, this Oculus uh, thing on. Um, maybe until I actually see a hidden passage for the first time and see how how much it helps. Perhaps. Uh, anyway, the magic is this. <laughs> So, yeah, that's uh, that's really good. I mean, it's not as gross looking as I thought, you know, a little bit bony and uh, a few too many eyes on those blades to really seem practical, but otherwise really cool. Anyway, nice, and we can easily make this jump now and we'll see what we get for all our trouble. A series of chests, gold necklace, oh really, gold ring, essence crystal, and elemental beads. At least those beads are going to be useful because, you know, um, obviously this eye orb is level 1, and I, uh, actually it's about to level up. Probably gonna level up at least this once. So I'm not sure how these elemental beads work exactly, if it gives you 5 levels worth of experience for the, for the orb, or just, you know, gives you the next level up, even if it's only 3 points away. Well, it is level 2 now, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, that was neat, I guess. We're at 98% now. I am tempted to go up the tower and see if I can maybe at least get up to this one. Although I'm not really sure just uh, dashing and jumping will even help. I don't think that gives you any extra height, really. I guess I could have been testing that in this big room, huh? So normally I can not quite reach the ceiling if I jump like this. I guess I'm hmm, also I'm jumping from this platform here, so 
Nope, and I completely messed up somehow. Not sure how that happened. It completely ate my input, but I can actually just return, so that's good. No, it seems like the height is exactly the same. Of course, there is, you know, slight variance according to, uh, you know, or based on when I time my second jump, but... Yeah. Um, so that should not really help in that... in those... both of those places that I'm thinking of. So, yeah, maybe triple jump is still coming. We'll see. Um... If nothing else, we will return to the past. I mean, yeah, I, I'm mostly I just refuse to believe that they would um, allow me to completely miss exploring something, you know, uh, by by doing something irreversible like cutting off the power before heading over here. Maybe I wasn't able to enter this and, and do anything here. I don't remember why I explored apparently part of this room and backed out immediately. Maybe I just, well, I don't know, maybe I just did because I didn't know which path was forward. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't think that they would do that. And there are more places, obviously, that uh, seem to require more more jumps or something. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna give up hope for that one yet. Um, yeah. Anyway, I, I guess I have yet to use this magic against enemies. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's, it does exactly what you think it does. It seems like a really powerful tool against really anything. Against bosses, against big thing things, against uh, groups of enemies. It just seems really powerful. Um, very much feels like the end game super weapon. Um, we'll see if we get another orb. I mean, now that I've found another set of uh, jewelry ingredients, I kind of hope that we do. But at the same time, I also feel like I have plenty already um, that I don't really know what to do with. And yes, I could be mixing and matching. In fact, hmm. I don't know, maybe. Maybe mixing plasma and gun would make sense to have both my ranged options uh, combined into one, so I can use, you know, a bit more variety to different, more close range things. I never tried the um, the ice orb with its uh, icicle passive. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Actually, we'll see how that works out. Again, I've, in the past, I've not really. Mixing, mixing different orbs has not really worked that well for me, but both Plasma and Gun are both kind of slow firing. And, um, yeah, maybe that... I, I guess I could see that working. Um, I'll just have to settle on uh, either Arm Cannon or uh, Plasma Geyser. I guess I'm going to go with the Arm Cannon for the uh, homing effect. Plasma Geyser it looks really powerful, but it's not that amazing, and it only hit, hits things in a straight line, right? So, yeah, maybe I'll just mix and match. For, for that one. Okay, anyway, uh, enough rambling. Next time we're gonna keep exploring the laboratory and see what else we find there. And um, if we can stop what's going on there, I guess that's uh, that seems like a, probably a good idea. Um, es especially now that we've learned that they're actually doing unethical experiments with my own people. So um, yeah, that needs to stop. Anyway, um, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.